Hi, and welcome to the second video of the in-depth review of the OQS Ocean Explorer. In this video, we'll be focusing our attention on the design and engineering of this catamaran and how it sets itself way above any competitors. We will start first with the most visible, the design of the deck house. This 60-foot multi-hull has a deck house with an approximate area of 32 square meters and a beam of 9 meters which is comparable to a mega yacht between 130 to 160 feet long for a fraction of the price. In this picture, you can see the comparison between Ocean Explorer and another motorhome of the same length. Even though they cost about the same, OQS says that you get 30% more room on the Ocean Explorer. The other thing to know is that the deck house is built not with aluminium, but instead, it is built with titanium. Not only is titanium lighter, it also gives more stiffness contributing to a stronger boat overall and almost eliminating that creaking noise that you hear from lower quality catamarans when the hulls twist against the saloon. Furthermore, in the terms of mechanical and heating properties, titanium is very similar to carbon fiber, which allows the entire structure to breathe more cohesively, all in the name of increasing the safety of the boat and giving more longevity and protecting your investment. The most prominent feature of the deck house is at the front, where there is a small recess in the deck house, separating the deck house forward into two cockpits. In this middle recess, OQS has fitted a US Coast Guard approved standing hatch, which allows easy access to the main mast. This eliminates the need to exit the deck house by the rear and walk around the saloon to exit the mast. So when you're taking charge of your boat from the inside of your deck house during a dinner or in bad weather, Simply open the front door and you have easy access to the mast. The reason you can take charge of your boat while enjoying dinner or sheltering from bad weather is because the deck house is entirely built on one level, allowing a 360 view of your boat. There are no steps whatsoever on this level, no more slipping on stairs and even allowing for easy wheelchair access onto the deck house. This 360 view is provided by two layers of glass surrounding the entirety of the deck house. One side tempered glass to eliminate the dangers of shards in an emergency event and the other chemically hardened to protect against the forces of mother nature. Furthermore, when you open the front and back doors, you will have a pleasing and natural ventilation with the breeze flowing through the saloon. Another benefit to this unilevel structure is that the main sail can be maximized in proportion to the boom and bigger sails mean bigger speed. The exterior of the C60 is mainly made out of e-glass that is vacuumed and fused with epoxy resin. Even though carbon is lighter, it is between 8 to 10 times more costly than e-glass. And the properties of e-glass allow it to be more pliable and more forgiving in a collision, and easier and more cost-effective to repair. Another point to make is that carbon fiber conducts electricity really well, and without proper insulation, galvanic corrosion will occur more quickly and can cause false readings on board electrical instruments. Another benefit of e-glass compared to carbon fiber is that e-glass gives a quieter ride as carbon fiber also conducts sound surprisingly well. Epoxy is used because it is completely resistant to moisture, allowing the laminate of e-glass to be water resistant. This in turn eliminates osmosis, which protects the boat from rot, which protects your investment. Vacuum infusion is employed to obtain the exact resin to fabric ratio, which optimizes weight to saturation, which then optimizes the strength and mechanical properties of the e-glass. So even though carbon fiber is slightly lighter, e-glass is more economical and has mechanical characteristics and features that are preferred in a fast performance cruiser, almost as strong, more pliable, and does not conduct electricity. One might also notice that there are no protruding hatches or cleats. Shipwrights at OQS have installed flush hatches and cleats. Not only does this improve the overall aesthetic of the boat, it also almost eliminates all on-deck tripping and shows the professionalism of craftsmanship on the Ocean Explorer. One can also notice that there are no lines running across the deck. At the request of the client, OQS has carefully hidden these lines under the main deck. All railings, stanchions, and guardrails and grab rails are custom made in house to CE classifications. Metals used are based on customer's preference, anything from 316L stainless steel to titanium or gold. 
Next, we move to the house themselves. OQS has strived to find the perfect balance between luxury and performance. The Ocean Explorer hull is wide enough to accommodate a queen-size bed, yet streamlined enough to reach whooping speeds exceeding 25 knots. Using the reverse bow design, the C60 cuts through blue water in style and comfort, minimizing pitching while adding more stability to the multi-hull. Each hull has three watertight compartments which can be fitted with its own bilge pump. Each forward hull is fitted with a 1 meter crash box to protect the hull in the case of frontal collision and to localize the damage within that area, making potential repairs much cheaper. Located on either side of the C60 are curved dagger boards, fully retractable and neatly tucked away in the dagger boards cassette, entirely integrated into the hull and does not protrude the deck. No more dagger boards sticking on the side of your beautiful catamaran. These dagger boards are operated with an electrical push button that is on both helms and have two manual fail safes. Retractable dagger boards also mean allowing the C60 to visit and to be berthed in much shallower waters, as the design waterline is only 83 cm. The hull itself has been reinforced with a semi keel to protect your boat from underwater hazards like rocks or shipping containers. Located next to the dagger board cassette, Carbon fiber shroud chain plates are also entirely integrated into the hull, protecting it from the elements and again, giving the Ocean Explorer its smooth streamlined curves. Though you can place the sail drive in the transom, OQS designers has placed the engine room in the middle of each hull. Although this design feature does take up some valuable space in the hull, it allows unhindered access to the engine in a well-littered and comfortable environment standing at full height regardless of weather or time of day, while removing the fear of waves filling the engine room with seawater. So no more going on deck in bad weather and in high seas to fix an engine problem in the dark. Furthermore, having the engines weighted in the middle of the boat gives it greater stability, and to reduce the noise of the engine, they are mounted on rubber footings to absorb engine vibration. Thank you very much for watching this video. Join us in the next video to take a virtual guided tour on the Ocean Explorer C60001 like a breeze. We'll see you there.